Hello, my name is Kurt and I am the Twin Flame Specialist. I'm here to help you feel better and even get your Twin Flame. Not even kidding. <laughs> Not even kidding. Welcome. Today I want to talk about something that everybody's had to go through. Everybody's had to deal with this on the Twin Flame journey. It's during that nasty dark night of the soul experience that you had. It's very, very painful. There's people who I talk to who have been on this journey for years and they still have the obsessive thinking, right? The obsessive thinking. And it's, it's indescribable. Like you can't, how do you explain this to another person that's not on a twin flame journey? I came up with an analogy that works. And when I explain it to you, um, it'll make sense, right? But it still just doesn't quite, right? It, it's so painful. But anyway, here it goes. <clears throat> Think of a tachometer in your car, right? The tachometer. There's the speedometer. And then there's the tachometer. The tachometer is the dial, if you don't know this already, uh, that shows you how fast the engine is running. Right? So, in a normal breakup, like, you know, I've been dumped before. I had somebody cheat on me before. And... Um, you know, it hurt, right? It hurt. And my emotional level, like the tachometer, think of the engine. It goes, my thoughts, my thoughts. It's idling. Everything's cool. The engine's idling. And then I found out this person cheated on me. Okay. That's my thoughts, right? The engine is running faster. It's like a four. It's like you're driving on the highway, right? Driving the car, the engine's going at, at four, we'll say, 4,000 RPM, whatever it is, right? That's the amount of thinking, maybe, that I was doing. Or, I don't know, I got fired from a job or something. I don't, have I ever been fired from a job? I got laid off once, um, but that wasn't even that bad. Like the breakup was, you know, when I had, it, it's like it kicks your energy into action and your thoughts and you're like, oh no, this person, oh my God, she cheated on me, huh? you know, and you're feeling all emotional about it and you're thinking about it a lot and you're like, oh my God, this sucks. And you know, you're just painful. You cry, whatever. Now, here's the thing. This isn't your twin flame. This is just whoever you, I, you used to be dating, right? For me, it was whoever I was dating. And it goes on for a couple of weeks, maybe. And it's just kind of a dull pain the whole time. And then it just slowly, it fades away. Right? The, the thinking, it slows down, okay, with this other person. No, this is different, you guys, with your twin flame. This is different. This is the tachometer, okay, spinning around about 150 times and springs fly out of it. And the engine explodes because it's running too fast. That's the obsessive thinking with your twin flame. It's, I can't, how else do you describe it? I don't even know. It's unbelievable, the obsessive thinking. I've never experienced anything like that. It's just like constantly, constantly, I can't sleep, right? It's ridiculous, the obsessive thinking about your twin flame, okay? And it's because they've triggered your energy. They've triggered your energy, okay? 
and it's because of what they are. They are an exact vibrational match to your energy. And it's the best drug that you've ever gotten. It's the best shit you've ever gotten. Like at the beginning, during that bubble love phase, at the beginning, oh my God. Wow. Oh my God, you guys. I was never so in love. Oh, holy shit. And then when she took off, oh, oh my God, you guys. Wow. Like you can't explain it. It's just, it's so intense. Okay, so here's what to do about the obsessive thinking. Now that we're all on the same page, like anybody that's not on a twin flame journey that's watching this video that thinks that they are experiencing obsessive thinking, like it takes months to even like start to slow down the tachometer, right? It's spinning out of control. It's not just going up. It's like, it takes months. It takes months. I don't know how I got out of it. All right. I want, I want to say that, right? I want to, oh, how did I ever get out of it? All right. You can do it the long, hard way where just eventually you start to feel better, I guess. I mean, there's people that are still on it. They've been in it for years and it's not as bad as it used to be, but they still can't stop thinking about this person. It's not as painful, but God damn it. Why can't I stop? I haven't talked to them in two years and I can't stop, right? I talk to people like that all the time. I get it. What do you do? What do you do about it? You have to get out of your mind. You have to get out of your mind. Okay? I tell all of you guys, read the power of now. If you haven't started, you will today, won't you? You have to focus on this moment and you have to accept what is. The obsessive thinking basically is, this is bad, this is bad, bad, bad. Oh my God, this is bad. Uh. He's fucking her. Uh. He's with somebody else. Uh. And then sadness later. Oh, this is terrible. Uh. And just all over the place. You know? And it's just like, oh my God, it's constant. It's just, you got to just accept, guys. You got to just accept. Look at your thoughts. Look at them. Stop believing that you are the thoughts. Just look at them. Just start watching them. You got to get out of your mind. You got to get out of your mind. Right? Focus on presence. Read the power of now. Get out of your mind. Now, if I had more time, if I had more than just 10 minutes to do this video, we could have a very long conversation about what that is. But I think you are smart enough to read that book and at least start to feel better. Get out of the obsessive thinking. Detach from your twin flame. Get out of your mind. Look at your thoughts. Don't get sucked into them, right? That's the problem is that you, you agree with what your thoughts are saying that something can be bad and you get wrapped up in them. But there's no good or bad, is there? There's yin and yang. And your thoughts are telling you, He's making me feel this way, or she, in my case. Nobody can make you feel anything, guys. Go watch my other video called Claim Your Power. Nobody can make you feel anything. Just watch your thoughts. Just observe them. Yeah, it's off the charts. The obsessive thinking is ridiculous. It's like the intensity and the quantity are both explosive. I've never experienced anything like it. But to get out of your mind, to stop the obsessive thinking, just stop identifying with it. 
Stop believing that you are your thoughts. Read the power of now. And don't just read it, implement. Carry that out, his teachings. And there are other people on the internet who discuss the practice of presence, the art of stillness, right? Go look into those things. Get out of your mind. That's the whole problem. Your soul is just trying to get you to pay attention to it. Be the watcher. Be the soul. Be the self. Just watch. Don't judge. Don't think, what am I going to do about the obsessive thinking? Just watch. That's it. It really is that simple. Just observe your thoughts and don't get attached. And don't focus on an outcome. I got to fix this. Oh my God. No. Just observe and accept. It works. It works, you guys. So there you go. I hope this helps. I know it's very painful when you're in that energy and I want to help. <laughs> and that's what I did. Be the watcher, guys. There you go. Love you guys all so much. I'll see you next time.